right. <coughs> so I'm going to do this uh, uh, landscape of the Lee River. So you can just do some uh, random uh, ink, but basically it's the, uh, the river bank. Maybe the horizon, I, I don't know how you call it. Uh, so the ones maybe long, or medium, and then we, uh, a small jumper between the two. And this, this ink should be not too dry, but yeah, it should be wet stroke. You, you can just write the dash. Doesn't matter. This shape would not be kept. It will be gone. It will be moved. Okay. Now the next, uh, I use the clean large water brush um, to activate the ink. Maybe we can use a little bit uh, diluted. Uh, you can use the <laughs> the hand soap. <laughs> maybe if we we don't have. I I already have this prepared. But uh, if you don't have anything, you know, you can use, uh, I use the palm olive, I use the uh, dishwasher detergent also okay. for this. But very thin, oh. you know, yeah, you can just put uh, right, right above. Right above it? Right above. Sometimes uh, people do it in, in the middle, so you would divide it to, to make it, uh, uh, like one, one side is a refraction. Yeah. So I, I just do it uh, on the on the water. So you, you consider this like the water line. Okay. Yeah, if you need more, here, here you can come to get. Uh, you, you can, uh, this liquid don't have to be all the way, it could be just some key point to create the trunk of the tree. It's, and then you can just use clean water. This brush has clean water only. Uh, I just put, uh, Let's just do a big uh, wash above it, and then just keep adding water on this line. And let it just kind of dripping down to drive the ink going down, uh, going up. When you, yeah, I just maybe put the the whole river, so the water will go to the. Uh, Will not go this way, but go this way, right? Because you want to drop it up into this sky. So this is the bottom of the river here. All right. Now I add more. So I, I make sure it's not trippy. If you if if the water goes uh, ahead of the ink, it will create a, a feathery edge yeah so we should go a little bit slower Oops. it's okay to have some feather <laughs> that's it's okay but if you yeah so you can start to bloom It's kind of hard to control the vertical, but it, it's fun, very, very fun. You're just adding water gradually. It takes time. It, it, it may take 20 minutes to get the, just this part normally, yeah. Because uh, it, it, it must grow, not... Um, yeah, see, so it's dripping. If it drip, it will get icicle effect. That's a different, uh, different uh, uh, effect we're trying to get last time. So you don't need to like lift the paper for water. Like, no, the water, the paper must be dry. So you you just uh, mm -hmm. uh, you can just put the brush like this. Just wait. And just leave it. Yeah. So. It, Do you ever add a little more ink 
Oh uh, yeah, I do. I add do. the wine. Um, yeah, I sometimes I, I, I add it wet into wet, but uh, I can also uh, more uh, kind of uh, control the effect by adding to it uh, wet and dry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, at first, uh, try to get it uh, as much as possible the natural flow, like uh, you know, here you can start to see, right? It just it it just takes time. If be very uh, patient, or you, like I said, you can just put uh, the brush, leave it on, on top of that. Yeah, I think you got it. <laughs> That's oh, nice. okay. I, th I thought I went too fast. But uh, I like the uh, the different direction. Because uh, for me, yeah, I I see you have this like yeah. radiation. Well, I've been picking it up. Oh, it? yeah. You can you can control by. Uh, yeah, the direction you can you yeah. can manipulate the Just angle, right, right, holding it up. right, right, right. So if you change the angle, you will get uh, different uh, ways of that. Uh, this paper is very delicate when it's this it much wet. Yeah, that's yeah. a that's the thin paper. I'm using the double shun. Double shun is a little bit uh, slow because uh, it, it takes a lot of moisture to begin with. Yeah, actually, uh, in the future, maybe next class we'll learn uh, more back to mulberry paper, and I'll introduce the new Fubosh style uh, with a, a dry brush, uh, dark, and then water to create a misty effect. So uh, yeah, that, that's uh, similar to this. So the, the water actually. Uh, replace the ink in the stroke, uh, yeah, to make it uh, misty. So you start with the dry brush, and then before it gets dry, you put water uh, besides the stroke, and the water will run through the stroke. That's how you stain microscope slides. Uh huh. Yeah. Microscope slides. 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 You know, you when you stain them. Uh -huh. You put the stain down and then you put water behind it and it washes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, it's just like a, you create a channel yeah. uh, and then run the water through the. Through that. You see, it, it, it just. Uh, if you do not look at it for a minute, you will surprise what happens. I, I just did that. <laughs> yeah, just, I like that. I like that. Yeah. So that's, that's always uh, uh, interesting. I put this on here because it was really. And, okay, uh, a little trick to share with you that if you see it's like a dead dark, uh -huh. you can add more uh, this clean cleaner liquid. I, I like the dark because it won't work on light, but it works really on dark. You will, you will uh, create the light. Uh -huh. the, it, will, it will bleach. It's a, it's a bleach. You will create a... So you add bleach to it. It, it will create... Something interesting. I, th I think I go too fast, but uh, I want to be. I want to show you. So I call this like emergency white, <laughs> emergency liquid. So you can rescue. Uh, I see that. Yeah, you know, last time when I have a dark stain or dark spot, I want to clean. I just you use. use the, I use the soap. Yeah, the same thing. You 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 wash it, and then you you blot it. Yeah. That's the way you clean it. But now I, I just... So I, if I want to add a little more, I just go... You don't work directly on the ink, but you mm -hmm. work on the river to, to keep, keep supply of water. It would start to feather to create the bloom. Okay, the, yeah, I think for this lesson, if you can master this part, it's already a big uh, advantage for, to, to know that the, how the paper works, right? Um, I still try to get the, the puddle line, very puddle to get. Um, so let, let's, let's turn it over. And so, 
You would never use this on a, um, do this on a P or a thick P? Uh, P won't, mm, it's, it's too, not as sensitive as it's this. It's too sized. It, it will flat out everything. Yeah. yeah, it will flat. P is the size. Yeah, yeah. it's, uh, the, the next time I use P, um, on P paper, like what I said, I would use dry brush to create texture okay. and then, and then. Uh, make it moisture, moist, yeah. Okay. So let me see. I can dry it or just uh, let me dry it first. We can use iron. See, iron uh, is another uh, condition to change the result. Right. That you can you can use it's like a heat and steam. So you will really activate that uh, agent that we're putting. Yeah, because if you don't see the 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 white effect uh, immediately, if you iron it, it was like, a, let me show you. But you could see it when you um, use the hair dryer. You could see it on the other one. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, hair dryer also. The heat really uh, help to activate the detergent uh, or the, I think it was the active uh, in all of them is the bubble thing. <laughs> there's a, there's a chemical name I think for that. I mean, if you, you can use the soap, any, it exists in all the detergent, soap, uh, that, that the bubble making. Okay. Yeah, agent. Um, let me see. I would use a, uh, a piece of paper just to protect the, the <coughs> dirt. And then you can, you can just do iron. Dry it. Okay, I'll show you. I'll just show you this corner, okay. okay. See how white that is? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> it really. So I must have ironed this one. Uh, I, I, I admit, okay. So that really makes it uh, to. And I, I just iron the whole thing. You can use the iron, by the way, before you go, so you don't have to carry the, the wet okay. paper. And that's how you're drying it? Yeah. But you're also, so, okay. you're also pulling up some of the ink, too. Yeah, I, uh, I did this, uh, uh, I, I, you know, I, I did a, a whole painting of uh, a watercolor copy of uh, Degas, uh, um, famous uh, masterpiece. Uh, like a, a lady out of the, the, the tank, uh, the, the bath or something like that. Uh, I used iron, I, I can copy a watercolor because uh, I can control everything. If I like, I stop it. If I like, I stop it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> see, see how nice it is? Yeah. So the iron is uh, really uh, helpful to create the effect, right? The feathery effect, okay? Uh, together with the the uh, laundry or hand wash uh, uh, soap or anything, you, you just need a little bit to. Uh, I think they don't really worry about the pH value or something like that. As long as you can create the effect and make a digital copy, this is it, it. You can it, it makes. Uh, yeah, see, that's the oh, yes. texture we want. It's pretty amazing. <clears throat> okay. well, so far, uh, I changed my pre assumption in my previous uh, uh, experiment uh, uh, two years ago. Maybe. Uh, I thought the paper must be thin, but uh, this is thick paper, and I can handle it more um, worry-free about tearing, tearing it. So I think it's good. I like it. So I'm going to just use whatever I have clean up the, the palette here. Uh, I'll just mix the remaining here. Some water. Okay, I'm going to add some uh, some some uh, peach sap glue also. It's on the 
So my my brush is evenly loaded with same same uh, value. I don't really want to gradate it, and uh, so I can paint it with the heel of the brush or tip of the brush. All the directions is the same same ink, same color, same hue, right? And uh, since it's going to drip, so I, I just uh, do this, adjust, uh, adjust it. I use a large brush so that I don't have to reload it. <laughs> I just have a go, right? Oh, uh, I already dried, so it should be fine. I just paint right above this. Okay, I do this side. I, last time I, I think I have difficult on this side. Let me start right here. Just to have an even wash. <laughs> Take it easy. Just a flat wash. And now I'm going to do a, <coughs> a little shape. Okay, going like two steps, but you need to vary the distance and angle of each. Uh, it goes up. Just must be higher. Okay, and then a little angle here. I'll just do this. So if I go slow, it will create still create uh, watermarks. But that's okay. That's part of the beauty. I think. Oops. Overlapped it. Okay. I do use the side of the brush, I realize. Reload the brush, same color, same ink. And uh, this time, well, <laughs> I want to vary with that, so it could be higher. Whoops, uh -huh, uh -huh, tricky. Make a little bit with like a camel, camel back. Oops. Dripping. Yeah, dripping will be the refraction of this, so it's fine. It looks like a waterfall. Yeah, yeah. So I just try to pick that up. Yeah. So I still have the watermark. Not with the other paper, and you, you will see when you do that. Um, so actually, I will violate one of the rules. That means uh, you don't want to touch it too, because the yeah maybe I'll make another one. So make uh, another one right here. Later after dries, you you want to keep them separated with each layer. Okay. So it's a fun process. Huh? Um, yeah, this should go over, but uh, you can see the watermark at work. Yeah, but that's okay. And we, we keep it like that. See. At least we have the separation between the mm -hmm. layers. So that's uh, just dry it, and then we do the uh, the last layer will be lighter. But we can do this right now with the same with the same. Uh, and uh, supposedly we, yeah, we, we can have like a several overlapping shapes. He's really good at that, just with a slightly different uh, kind of position. It create an interesting pattern. Oh, 
Also it's a little bit different. And then we'll do some darker value on top of that. But I wish there's a, uh, a reflection, or we can just paint it. Yeah. So we can use hair dry. I mean hair dryer or iron. Maybe use iron. Just iron. We can control more precisely what we, we want. Let's just do the top part. Oops, it's broken. I never thought I could do this vertically <laughs> at home. Uh, yeah. is, is that the same setting on silk as with the mounting? Same setting? setting on the iron? Oh, good question. Yeah, I said on silk. Yeah, yeah I did on silk. Setting on silk. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's just dry or the moisture. It's, it, it's, it's different in speed. If you want to set it quickly, you can set it on higher temperature. It'll go tsh. Yeah, you don't need to dry completely, I guess, just to give room for for the next layer is fine because they will keep separated because the water mark will keep the uh, shape separated anyway. So uh, just add some water to see. Oh, that's really diluted. Okay, let me just add the ink back. And just use, I clean up everything, including the, the glue powder. This peach sap glue powder, I add to this to add a little bit uh, vo volume to the very light, yeah, very light, but still I have some stickiness. I can feel it. That's good. And <coughs> you can use the sipping technique, you know, if you. Yeah. I don't know. Oops. <laughs> Not working. This is uh, on this different surface. So you want to go up and but smaller. Make sure it's smaller. And, uh, okay. and where is the size? Okay. This is a one tall, one one low. 